You see, I deem this to be one of the more important videos that I've made. For in it, I will demonstrate that I have more power in my little finger than the Islamic God Allah. But let's make this more exciting. Let's go for not just the Islamic God Allah, but his prophet Muhammad and a billion Muslims all joined in prayer with him. The test is simple. Who can move the most balls in the shortest amount of time? My little finger or Allah, mighty Mo, and a billion Muslims all joined in prayer. Now wait, I hate to say, that's not fair, because you made this video before anyone knew about it. <laughs> not a problem. You see, any god worth his salt could just as easily do things in the past as in the present. So what I want every Muslim to do is to watch this video, and then go and pray to Allah, and watch it again, and keep praying to Allah, and re-watching the video, until your prayers to Allah ensure a different outcome. Uh, what's wrong? Don't you believe in the power of prayer? You should do. You do enough of it. Why the sudden lack of confidence in the uh, all-powerful nature of your God? So here goes. On the left we have my little finger, and on the right we have Allah, a billion Muslims joined in prayer, and the Prophet Muhammad. So here goes. Oh, that's one zero to my little finger. Let me guess. Allah wasn't ready and wants a do-over. Oh, two zero. And one last time, just to be sure, this time in slow motion. Sorry, boys, looks like my little finger is greater than your God, his prophet, and every single Muslim on the planet joined with him in prayer. No wonder they say that a single pair of hands at work is worth more than a billion clasped in prayer. Now, why is any of this important, I hear you say? Because it beautifully highlights what in many ways makes Islam such a nasty and unpleasant religion, in that it inspires people to make up for the evident impotence, the, the non-existence of Allah by doing the killing themselves. Ironically, usually with a punchline, Allah Hakbar, that is, God is great, although evidently not as powerful as my little finger. However, every time you do this, you just make a mockery of both your God and your religion. Every time you wire an explosive, every time you load a gun, every time you grab a knife to kill for your god, you are simply establishing a mocking idol to how your religion, Islam, and the non-existence of your god has made you a murdering psycho. Allah doesn't kill people. Islamic nutters who believe in the unpleasant phantasm do. And this is why you fear free speech. For to allow free speech is to allow people to show you the truth that your god does not exist. It forces you to see the mocking idol that you created to the non-existence of your God and to what your religion has done to your mind and to the countries it has infected. Yes, this is why your religion prohibits free speech, for deep down you already know the monster that open criticism will force you to see in the mirror of truth, the twisted and sadistically perverted visage of a free human created by the festering whisperings of a religion that has kept you in the dark ages for the past 800 years.